Hey, welcome to the Hunter Controller programming video. Now that we've verified that the set current time and day is correct, we're going to turn the dial over to set program start times. And this is going to be the first of three ingredients for that program. As you look at the display, you'll notice that we're in program A. This represents start time one, which is cycle start number one, the first cycle in that program. 8 a.m. is flashing. We're going to pick a time of 6 a.m. for the first cycle of program A. So we'll hold the minus button down while it's flashing. It goes in 15 minute increments. And now we've got 6 a.m. flashing in the display for program A, cycle start number one. Now this is for our lawn area. It's new grass and we want it to water multiple times a day. So what we'll do is use the right button to go to cycle start number two because we want that new sod to come on three times that day. So cycle start two, we're going to set to be 12. We're going to set to be 12 p.m. So we'll use the minus button and go backwards until we get to, it goes in 15 minute increments once again. We get to 12 p.m. That's the middle of the day. So this is program A, cycle start number two, or program start number two, 12 p.m. You get up to four. We're going to utilize three. We want our grass to water at 8, 12, and 3. So the third cycle start, use the right button, start time 3. We're going to hit the plus button, or in this case we'll go backwards with the minus. And we'll scroll backwards through the PMs and we'll set up the 3 PM start time. Now that tells us that everybody in program A is going to cycle through three times that day. Start time 1, start time 2, and start time 3. Now that we've set the start times for the program, we can take and move the dial to the second ingredient, which is the station runtime. We're still in program A, we haven't touched the button yet, and in this example that we're setting up, you've got five different grass zones or grass stations. Station one, we're going to have him run in program A, it shows runtime. We're going to go 10 minutes to make it simple for the example. So station one has a runtime of 10 minutes. We'll hit the right arrow to station two. He's also grass. Remember, one through five is grass. You can go up to 10 minutes on him. Hit the right arrow to advance to station three. We're still in program A. Run time of 10 minutes. Now we'll advance with the right arrow to station four. Remember, one through five is all the grass areas. But number four, we're going to give him five minutes because he's in a shady area, for example. So we'll advance him up to number five, or five minutes. Same thing on station five, we can give him the five minutes because we'll say he's in a shady area also, doesn't need the full ten minutes. So we'll go up to number five minutes. Now we've got stations one through five on program A starting three times a day. Now that we've given all five stations their runtime, we're done with that section and we can move the dial over to set days to water to select the days for program A. Now here on set days to water, we'll be selecting the days of the week that program A is going to be cycling. Station six was the trees. We're going to have him on program B, so we've forgotten about him altogether right now. We're just doing the one through five grass zones. They have three start times. They have their individual run times. And on set days to water, you'll notice that the days of the week are across the bottom. The cursor is blinking over Monday. The plus button will mean yes, and the minus button means no. So if you select the plus button with the cursor on Monday, the water drop stays behind over Monday, saying yes, it will water Monday. On Tuesday, we're going to hit the plus button also to water on Tuesday. Plus means yes, so we're going to say plus all the way across the week until we get to Saturday. Now, we don't want to water Saturday and Sunday, so we're going to simply use the minus button, and the drop disappears. Same thing on Sunday, we hit the minus button and the drop disappears. So now we've got our five days a week, Monday through Friday selected. We're still in program A, so we have all three ingredients for the program. Once a program has all three ingredients, it will cycle off and on. So now that we have all three ingredients programmed in for program A, we can start with the information for program B.